So Emily, what do you do at Khan Academy? I am a biology content fellow here. And what does that mean? That means that I am coming from a biology background. I used to do biology research, um, and now I'm sort of trying to bring that knowledge to expand what we already have on Khan Academy to cover even more of biology. And used to be more than just a bi I mean, you, you have a PhD in? Yes, yeah, in uh, plant molecular biology, if you want to get really specific. <laughs> <laughs> and so what, what does it mean, that kind of helping us develop? Like, what, what, what's your day-to-day -day like here at Khan Academy? So uh, it's been a little bit different over the time that I've been here, but it's been a lot of sort of going through what we already have for biology, going through textbooks, aligning the videos that we already have, and seeing what gaps we've got that we want to maybe create new material for, or you know, find something even more targeted for particular areas. And, and what, what, I guess, brought you here? That's a great question. It was a lot of serendipity. Um, you know, I was sort of finishing my PhD and I was interested in education. I really liked biology, wasn't sure what to do. And I kind of stumbled onto Khan Academy's website um, and never heard of it before. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. But they don't have as much biology as they have of math. You know, I should write to them or something. <laughs> and it was within a month of that that the job opening was posted. So. Uh, the rest is history, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or biology. <laughs> or biology, yes. <laughs> and, and, and what are kind of your goals for like the next, uh, you know, what, what are you hoping to get, get done here? I would love to see sort of a really awesome library of high quality, fun bio material that basically covers what an intro textbook would cover, but not in a textbooky way, you know, in a way that is much more accessible and you know students would go to it not just because they have to learn the material but because they're also going to enjoy interacting with it. And what is you know you have I guess you have a PhD in biology you're now here at Khan Academy what advice would you have for someone one who's either just trying to learn about biology thinking about a PhD or they kind of want to do what you're doing now? Gosh I mean I think that really I would just say to like try to follow whatever it is that really grabs you in biology. You know, you can never go wrong if you're thinking about something and you just go, wow, that's so beautiful, that's so cool. I want to go understand that more or I want to go share that with people. I mean, as long as you really have that passion for it, I think it can lead you a lot of places you wouldn't expect to be. I never expected, you know, this is where I would end up. But, you know, it's, it's been great and I think that you know, you can find yourself in unexpected places if you just really go for that sort of beauty. What was your moment where you said, I want to, you know, biology is where my passion is? I mean, for me, that was very much about having an awesome professor, well, an awesome teacher in high school and an awesome professor at the intro level in college. Um, so I just got really lucky that I had two people who taught biology so that it was exciting, it was really systematic, it fit together like this really cool little puzzle and I think the key moment was probably when I was a, a freshman in college and I took my first bio seminar course and we had to read papers and I was terrified and I went to my professor almost in tears I can't do this I you know I should just drop the class and she, she wouldn't let me she was just like no you can do this you're really good and that ended up the the topic of that seminar ended up being my specialty for the next decade basically so uh, which is a huge I mean a lot of times in life you you're in those moments you could have quit and then you pro not only you would have done something else, I'm sure, but not only, not only did you engage and you overcame, but that became your specialty. Yes. That became your passion. It was, it was a very definitive moment, as it turned out. So you actually found, yeah. Well, and, and, and what, you know, what, so you've been here at Khan Academy for a little bit now. I mean, what has surprised you about it? That's a great question. I think... I mean, what surprised me the most is just how much you get to interact with all different kinds of people and how it's actually really cross-functional and collaborative that way. And maybe that's not a surprise to people who come here from big companies, but 
coming here from a lab where most big companies are optimally functional. And <laughs> of course, they are. <laughs> they're they're all they're, they're just like smooth running machines. Everyone's very happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess everywhere has its own challenges. <laughs> but I guess I just I interacted with great people in my old job, but everybody was a researcher. And it's been really cool to meet people who are developers and people who are strategy and people who are, you know, donor partnerships or school partnerships. And you get a lot of really different perspectives and you see how you end up at really different places when you bring all of those perspectives to one project. Uh, so I guess that's that's been just really interesting and cool for me. And I feel like I've learned a lot just from osmosis being around those people basically uh, no pun intended no i know you've thrown down the bio can't, terminology can't help using the analogies Learning through diffusion and osmosis <laughs> uh, and, and what are you excited about i'm i'm really excited about sort of the new stuff that we're starting to make for biology um, i'm i'm excited about you know seeing what it's going to look like, seeing who we're going to have making it, you and me perhaps participating a lot, but also, you know, trying to get other people who are really passionate about it, who have a lot of expertise and just, you know, seeing what super cool stuff we're going to have. I'm really excited that ball is rolling. I'm excited as well. And thank you so much for being part of this. My pleasure.